Hello, my name is Kamond, and today I'll show you how to build five different dropper slash dispenser clocks. I've gotten lots of comments of people asking me to make a tutorial on dropper slash dispenser clocks, and here we are. In this video, I'll show you five different dropper clocks and how to use them. And also, very useful to use them, for example, in mob farms, on farms, all that stuff. So sit back and relax, and hopefully you'll find this video useful. And also, please consider subscribing, that really helps. And also hit the like button. Anyways, now, let's get into the video. Now let's start with the first one. The first dropper clock. As you can see, quite a simple design. So basically, you place a hopper on top, the items go inside the dispenser, or a dropper, like so. And then, the dropper shoots them out. Quite slowly. But yeah, it still works. You can also modify it like so. Place a comparator in here. Then a repeater behind it, like so, rest on dust, block here, and then rest on dust on top. This will also work, as you can see. Push the items out. The second way to modify it is to remove the rest on dust, like so. Then place a repeater on this side, holding it to block, and then some more rest on dust in here. So yeah, you can do it like this as well. Totally up to you. I really like this design, and just place the block in here and rest on dust on top. This works the best. And here are the items you need for the first dropper clock. A dispenser, one comparator, two repeaters, and six rest on dust. You can also use just one repeater, as I just showed you, but let's use two in this one. Now place down the dropper like so, dropper down, comparator behind it, repeater, rest on dust, Second repeater, and some more redstone dust. Test it out, place a stack of items inside, and it sure is working. And like I said before, just placing a block in here, and redstone dust on top, you can save one repeater. Quite awesome. And now, the second dropper clock, which is also the simplest design, as you can see. Just the observer, redstone dust, and a lever. So, this will be a manual one. You can turn it on, for it to start working, so no comparators in this design. Now place the items inside, like so, click the lever, and it starts shooting quite quickly, as you can see. And yeah, this is the design, the whole dropper clock, a super simple one. For example, on the back or on the side, you can place a hopper and a chest on top, like so, place the items inside, and once the chest is empty, take this lever, and it throws the items out. You can empty the chest quite quickly, for example, in an enderman form or a skeleton XP form of sorts. So yeah, that's awesome. Super quick and simple. And here are the items for the second dropper clock. Dropper, observer, rest on dust and a lever. And now let me show you how to build this thing. Place your dropper down, observer on top, crouch while placing the observer, otherwise you will just open the dropper, so crouch, then rest on dust on top and the lever on the side. And now place a stack of items inside, I use some rest on dust, then flick it on, it keeps shooting. Quite awesome. And here comes the third hopper clock. And this is a more complicated design. Under here is a sticky piston and two observers pointing into each other. And once this comparator detects some items inside this dropper, piston will go up. And now let me show how it works. Like that. Quite a simple and nice design, a little bit more expensive, but still, it's quite okay, as long as you have some slime and some quartz. And here are the items for the third dropper clock. Dropper, redstone comparator, two observers, and a sticky piston. Now let me show you how to build this thing. So basically, place a dropper down, comparator behind it, break this block, and place a sticky piston in it. Like so. Then a observer on top of the sticky piston, and up here, let's place a observer, like so. And now that's basically it. Place the items inside the dropper, and it keeps shooting, like that. I really like this design quite a lot. But there's one issue. If you place a hopper on the side, let me show you. Place a hopper in here, this will happen. This. This is what I mean. So it's better to have two hopper inputs going into this dropper, as you can see. Now it's more constant. This design is also tileable, so if I place a second one, 
right here. Let's do this. And go in here. You can see that both of these will indeed work. Like that. That's why this is quite awesome. Quite amazing. I mean, look at this. So cool. We are here, now in my old Let's Play world, and I have this huge mob farm in here. So let's go down. All the mobs will drop down on top of these magma blocks, and Hopper Minecraft will pick all of the items up. And here we can see the Hopper clock in action. Let's... So let's take a stack of items, place it in here, and you'll see what I mean. In purposes like these, these dropper clocks are amazing. Look at that. The stream of items is constant, because the items come from both of the sides. And they go up here, my item sorter. Such an amazing design for these dropper clocks. And yeah, that's why I liked them quite a lot. Probably one of my favorites from all of these five. And here we'll see the Ford Dispenser slash dropper clock. And this is a more old school one. So yeah, it works with the burnout clock mechanic. So once I place, let's place some items inside. Torches will burn out, like that. As you can see, I like it quite a lot. It still works, but it, it's quite quite loud. But yeah, if you don't mind that, this will be a perfect solution if you don't have any observers. And here are the items for the fourth dropper clock. One dropper, one redstone comparator, three redstone torches, one redstone repeater, two pieces of redstone dust, and eight building blocks. You can use any building block you want. For example, cobblestone, dirt, planks, wood, you name it, all works. So let me show you how to build this thing. So place four blocks, one, two, three, and four. As you can see in here, you have to place two blocks here for now, one block there, and then the dropper right in there. Now you can break these blocks, take out some redstone torches and place them in here. Then two pieces of redstone dust, like so. Then a repeater and a comparator. The repeater goes in here, comparator goes in here, then we will place a block here with a redstone towards on the side, like that. Now if we take a stack of items, once again, it works like this. Quite awesome. I mean, look at that. That's kind of cool. The old school way to do these dropper clocks. And it still works nowadays as well. Then the fifth and the last one. Now this is quite awesome. This works really well on Enderman XP farms, because you will get lots of Ender Pearls and you want to throw them basically away. So check this out. I placed the items inside, a stack of smooth stone blocks, and let's wait for a while. If we check out inside these droppers, both of these should get 32 items inside. We start two hoppers back here. Let's see. 32 and 32. Awesome. And once I flick this lever, boom. I just want to shoot out like crazy. Look at that. Now this is how you get rid of all of those Ender Pearls. That's so amazing. Now this is basically what I mean. You have an Enderman XP farm. Apologies for the loud noises. All of the Ender Pearls go down inside in these droppers. And just flick the lever. And all of the Ender Pearls will fall down like so. Quite awesome, am I right? And for these purposes, this dropper clock is amazing. Just amazing, I say. And here are the items you need for the last dropper clock. Two droppers, two hoppers, two chests, one building block, one lever, five pieces of redstone dust, and a redstone comparator. Now let me show you how to build this thing. So let's go in here and place two droppers right next to each other, like in here. Behind them, two hoppers, crowds, and right click the chests. Above them, let's place a chest. A chest. You can also place four chests and place them like this. But it's totally up to you. So two chests go in here. And then in here, one, two and three, let's place a building block with a lever right in here, right in front. Then a comparator behind it, a redstone dust and some more redstone dust. And now if we flick the lever, it won't work. So go back in here. I right click the comparator once. So this light turns on. Now try this again. And it's perfect. Let's just take new stacks of items and place them inside in here. And try this out. Look at that. Amazing. And also you can also break this one. It will still work. 
You know, or you can just make a fourth one or third one. Totally up to you. And that's all about the dropper slash dispenser clocks. Anyways, I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, leave a comment down, hit the like button and don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button as well. Also, I stream on Twitch TV slash game and yeah, drop a follow as well. And if you did all of that, you my friend are amazing. Let's see you next time. My name is Cayman. Mm, bye bye.